Hello viewers, hope you all are doing great. These days on my channel Food Saito, I am discussing about vitamins. And in today's session, I am going to talk about vitamin B1. Let's have a look over its key features. B1, scientific name is thiamine. It's water soluble. It's colorless compound. And it can be synthesized by bacteria, fungi and plants. RDA that is recommended dietary allowance for vitamin B1 is for male it's 1.4 milligram per day while in case of female it's 1.1 milligram per day. Let's talk about some of its sources as you can see over the screen it is found in uh, cereals, walnuts, groundnut, pistachio, soya bean, mustard seeds and capsicum to name a few. Now let's talk about its structure. The structure of thiamine consists of pyrimidine ring and thiazole ring and we can see these rings are linked together by methylene group yes CH2 and uh, why thiamine is named so? Thia that means a thiol group that is SH is attached that's why it is known as thiamine. Now let's have a look over its active form. Thiamine is converted into its biologically active form that is thiamine pyrophosphate in the human body. How these two structures are different? As you can see in thiamine pyrophosphate the OH group of thiazole ring is phosphorylated that is it contains two phosphate groups. Now let's learn about some of its biochemical functions. It is involved in dehydrogenation and decarboxylation reactions of carbohydrate and amino acid metabolism. It is also involved in oxidative decarboxylation of alpha keto acids like pyruvate. It serves as a coenzyme in many enzymes like transketolase and uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex etc. Now let's discuss about its deficiency. Deficiency of vitamin B1 leads to beriberi which can be dry beriberi, wet beriberi and infantile beriberi. Basically deficiency mostly affects neurological and cardiovascular system. Symptoms include neurological manifestation, muscle atrophy, edema, and mental confusion. So that's all about vitamin B1. Stay tuned with Food Saito for more such concepts and learning in a simplified manner. Or if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for listening.